All right, so I got my senior hat on. Let me answer these questions. Uh, they're uh, directed at uh, my seniority. <laughs> yeah, these questions came from a comment, so let me just address this. Make a guide for junior devs as well. What would you like to see as a recruiter? Uh, I, I've never been in a position of uh, recruiting per se. It was just that the company um, had these uh, way they would go around and turn and you would have to sit in for an interview uh, for another Android developer, right? So I would sit in there with an engineering manager, give my opinion of their skills. Uh, yeah, they would usually submit, you know, an assignment that we gave them. Uh, this is the second stage. The first stage is just to get to know them. How are they like, you know, if they're not an alien. The second stage would be where they submit this assignment. Let me just drink my uh, senior coffee. Yeah, so uh, they would submit that and I would just give my opinion uh, in them uh, about them, about what they did in the code. Why this, not that, you know, typical stuff. I'm not really in this position where I am hiring anybody, you know, I'm, I'm not. How strongly would you weigh in open source? How strongly would you weigh in? Well, you got some English on you, yeah? Uh, open source contributions at big projects with millions of downloads. Yeah, that would cover really... Uh, they would still have to do assignment. You know, they would still have to do the assignment. They have to do it. Either an assignment or something that we decide is going to show us what we uh, what what their skills are they have to go through that even if you've done a million things you know it should be easy then if you've done all of those things it should be easy to finish this one thing that we assigned to you so you're still gonna have to do that uh top 10 contributor very well received projects amid thousands of lines of code production how strong is that that's very strong but also you have to remember that uh, all of this stuff is uh it's part of your coding uh, skills, right? Here uh, in Europe or, or elsewhere, I'm sure as well, it's not just your code, right? So the coding part is a big part of it, but there's also the team fit, what your motivations are, how you think, why you're here, why did you choose us? Uh, talk to this team, see if they like you. We don't like you, maybe you don't like us, maybe this guy hates you. We can't get you on if some other member doesn't like you, you know. Uh, so a lot of personal personal stuff comes into play. But if you finish all the personal stuff, then all the focus is now your code. If you finish all the code stuff, all the focus is now your personal stuff. So they go hand in hand. They're really tied in together, you know. Very, very important. They look for this uh, stuff here so much that it's just not about the code only. Does an internship outweigh this as that is a real corporate experience? Um, stop calling it an internship in your resume and your whatever. Just call it job. Don't put the word internship there. And we don't care about your honesty. Or you're being, uh, oh, I was uh, an intern, so I'm going to put intern. You worked there as an intern. You were not interning there. You were working. It is experience. You know, it's not something to be uh, looked down upon. You were sitting there working with those people. Just say, just say you worked there. You don't need to mention internship. Because if you do mention internship, then you're going to be imposing a... Uh, a uh, certain image in the head of whoever's reading. Oh, internship means I'm weak. Internship means I'm not that strong. Why do you want to put this image? Uh, well, I'm just being honest. Nobody cares. You honest with what? Be honest with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know. What are responsibilities of a junior, mid, senior dev? I've never really been a junior. I was born a senior developer, honestly. <laughs> no, I've never been a junior in the sense that I was never hired as a junior developer. I was a junior, but
but they hired me as someone who's a mid or something like that. I did this first app. This is the very first app I made. I made the entire thing in 2014. This is a new version, but there's the old version that I made, which is accessible from within this app. I made this in 2014 and I was the only guy. I made the entire thing, but there is no design patterns. There is no testing. There is nothing there. You're talking 2014, the first thing I ever did professionally, straight out of Compton, uh, straight out of college. So I went out of college and then I got hired by this very small startup. They're still very small. And they just said, do the entire app. And the next job after that as well, start up small, do the entire app. And the one after that, I did like three or four or five even. I mentioned it in the CV's uh, video where... Uh, five experiences I've had only startups and I was the only person they would have another iOS person as well but I was the only person responsible for Android so I never got the time to be a junior so you will find some gaps in my knowledge because I never took that path of you know that 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 you know gradual uh, graduation I was just bam at the end of the line <laughs> and then they're looking around me and like do you know this stuff? Like, I look like I know it, but there are some gaps. There are some gaps for sure. So I can't tell you what uh, the responsibilities of a junior are. I guess stop looking like a junior. Stop acting like a junior. Start becoming more mid. But when you go mid to senior, yeah, it's going to differ. Because again, you're going to find this, uh, the issue of them, them as in companies wanting you to be more people oriented not code oriented anymore so they want to take the code out of you bro you can't let them so they're looking for a person who can juggle code as well as deal with people they are so they love the people thing you have to be good with people and i'm not saying like i'm bad with people but there's a level you don't know there's a stuff like above where people are talking in a meeting, for example, you can't just say what you think, man. <laughs> That's like basic. Here, I, I didn't know that stuff, you know. I was like uh, being honest, you know. No, there's a way of doing... You have to play that game. There's some games you have to play where it stops being, again, about the code when you're senior and becomes more about how you deal with people. You know, here you're you're transitioning maybe to more, I don't know, like uh, team lead. You have to deal with developers. They have feelings, they have needs, they have problems. You have to learn this stuff. Not everybody can do this or wants to do this, but this is where you start to see it. This is where the expectation turns from. You can build anything, great, but can you talk to anybody, right? Can you make anybody do what you want? Can you influence people? Basically. Uh, what will the interviews be like? I've never... How much lead coding is required? Yeah. I have never ever in my life, except for Google, Uber, uh, Facebook, those bunch, been asked to do algorithms when applying for an Android job. Never ever has it happened with the exception of those companies that I mentioned and booking.com as well, because those companies, they are operating at scale. So they have minimum of millions of users per thing. So any code that you write is going to be used by 10 or 100 times more users than there would be using in, in some other company you join because they're so big. So what you write can't be like, you can't write a for loop in the same way anymore. You can't loop over items in the same way anymore. There's so many considerations. So they are right to test for this stuff. But smaller companies are not just smaller, even big companies that are not among those five. I've never ever had them test me for something like that. Zero lead code, nothing, no algorithms. Just show me a project you worked on. Uh, or a repository or something like that or, or do you have any apps uh, on the play store and here's an assignment if we, if we think you're technically good enough here's an assignment let's prove that by having you code 
for us on demand with these requirements. Let's see what you do there. That's the usual thing. So uh, personal interview. Hello, are you a, an alien? Do you look normal? Do you speak normal? Okay, you're a human being. Great. Second, after that, you meet with the technical people. Is he good enough to be even tested? Right. If you're good enough to be tested, okay, here's the exam. Or sometimes the, the, the exam or the assignment or whatever is inside the good enough to be tested interview. It goes for 1.5 hours instead of 30 minutes. And they ask you everything in that interview without you coding uh, at home. That can happen as well. Those are more difficult because it's live. You don't have anything. You can't just look it up. You can't do anything. Specifically for junior devs, what would you typically expect them to know or demonstrate in a coding technical interview? Yeah, a junior Android developer, I don't know what I would ask. Hey, what do you know? You know, what do you know? What have you done? It's their time to prove to me um, that they've done things and that's going to be enough. Whatever they mention, like just tell me, you know, dependency injection, you know, coin or Hilt, you've worked with Hilt. No, nobody's really a junior anymore, man. You know, everybody's like hitting it from, you know, from, I want to say from the back. <laughs> what the fuck? Everybody's going, leaping off in three, four steps ahead. I don't know the last time. I, the last time we hired the junior, man, I thought she was as good as me. Honestly. Honestly. Me, for example, I've had eight years. Yeah, sure. But were they eight years in the sense that you would think? I don't think so. Here in, compared to, in comparison to where I, Lebanon, I would say like I'm a very, very strong mid. You know, I'm, am I a senior? I'm not a junior. That's for sure. I'm not a mid normal mid. That's for sure. But senior like here, it packs a, a whole lot of meanings, you know? Yeah, I don't know. That's the best I could uh, answer with these questions. I hope it's uh, satisfactory. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.